morning guys so one of the first things that i do when i get out of bed is one plug in my heater gotta get the heat circulating and plug in the christmas tree that always gets me going all right guys so i'm up this morning just got out of the shower yeah. i have my outfit planned out so i basically have one all gray gray pants i'm gonna wear this i may put on a gray sweater but i don't know and then i'm gonna wear some little heels but that's my little outfit nothing special okay that's not gonna fit Let's just put you over here <laughs> so <clears throat> today's monday i have a very <clears throat> long day basically so i'm gonna make my bed together also need to pack my book bag for class <clears throat> these are the shoes I plan on wearing these little booties for today let me tell you guys what we have on our to-do list so basically I have three classes today fashion buying uh visual merchandising and post internship okay cool so i have a five page paper due at two o'clock we're on track with that <clears throat> i'm gonna fix some stuff with it and um tomorrow at two o'clock in my principles of marketing i have a seven page paper this is our independent case study we had to so basically, I was assigned online boutique and we had to come up with our own store and we had to create a marketing plan for it. So that's basically what I did. And what I really like about um, really loving what you do is that you can apply, you know, your own dreams to it. So basically, I came up with my own boutique. You know, I created my name. I've been had my name. Um, not going to tell you guys the name because it may come true. But um, yeah, so I basically have an executive summary, um, a marketing analysis, profile of my target audience, um, financial resources of how I would get the money, um, advantages, disadvantages, promotion strategies, distribution strategies. I just have all of this stuff. Um, budget. You know what I would need my budget to be and where money would come from and what I would put money to for packaging or um, advertising and yeah budget analysis our class is split up between business and fashion students so sometimes she gets in detail about business stuff and I just feel like what are you talking about but I think I did pretty good on this so this is ready to go has my name on it everything so boom Tomorrow at 1 o'clock, I have my professional portfolio due. Boom. Got this set. I have to present, do my PowerPoint. Good. Let's see what else we have. Next Monday, I have all these papers due. We're not even going to worry about that because we got to get through this week. <laughs> so let me see what I have. Everything due this week. Oh, I have an assignment due by midnight tonight. I just need to be organized so I know what I need to do, what I have to do. And, oh yeah, and I have this assignment that I have not completed due at 4 o'clock today. But I did the work part of it. <clears throat> Wherever the work part is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to like, we had a series of questions so I answer all the questions. That's like three pages of questions. And then we have to like cut out collages, do like the the creative part of it which is i hate creative part like just give me a paper and let me write the paper i don't want to be arts and crafting and stuff <sighs> okay guys so she sent another email she said you can submit your project now the submission deadline is today december 5th at 5 p.m so great going to submit it right now i can call my mom back because i know my mom is typing away hello Another email? Yeah, she sent another email saying that um, the extent the deadline extension has been moved to today at 5 p.m. And she said you so can other, submit. So it must have been some other issues. It had to be some other issues. I couldn't be the only one that 
read that email wrong. So right now I'm printing out some pictures. We have to, this is for my, what class is a uh, post internship. And basically right now it's about our future, our goals, what we want to do after graduation, blah, 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 blah. So we had like a series of questions that we had to answer. And now we have to put um, like a collage together of what does my future look like? Where am I now? Where I have been? What do I dream of becoming? And I, we're probably going to talk about it in class, like, you know, what we want to do. So I'm printing out pictures. First picture is me at my computer. This um, signifies like my YouTube. Where have I been? What have I done? I have me on FIT's Instagram page. I have, oh, that's a long shit. I have my book that I'm gonna put on there and cut out. I also have some magazine papers that I cut out. Let's see what I have. I have this woman because I think she just looks like a boss. So that will go in there. I was joking with my friends and I took out a picture of Trey songs. I was like, I'm gonna put this on here, it's my future. But yeah, it's professional related. But yeah, if I did have to, you know, see my future, I would want someone that looks like this in my future. <laughs> Yes, I would. Post internship, and then this is my little collage that goes with this assignment. So, let's see. I have where I am now, and I may add, you know, just a few more things here. But I, these are my pictures. I have me holding my camera as a YouTuber, my book, me on my computer, this graduation cap. You know, this is when my first initial shipment of books came in that I sold completely. So that is just where I am now. Over here, I have where I've been. I have me when I was in New York for an interview at CBS Radio. I have my acceptance letter um, for FIT. My YouTube plaque when I hit 100,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. When I took over FIT's Instagram account. Me being an AKA. What does my future look like? I have a um, small business owner. This is like my representation of girl boss. I have this guy over here writing, but that is a representation of me writing another book. This is like a clothing boutique. I love C CB, House of CB, I believe it. I love this clothing company, so I was just like, maybe one day I will have my own boutique. Um, me, graduation, packing my bags, passport, because I like to travel. I have New York here because New York is where I believe that I will be living because I really love New York. I feel like that's like home to me. Then over here I have what do I dream of becoming, and I have my brand glamaholic i don't sell these t-shirts anymore but if you guys remember um a year ago is it two years ago now two years maybe a year ago i came out with t-shirts and i have small business big impact i have a professor with marketing advertising social media 101 this is my ultimate final career path i want to go into which would be a professor teaching social media um i have my youtube channel i have television because I don't know, I guess I can see myself on TV, modeling. Once I finish college, I could see myself going more into that. And then right here, these are my main goals. I want to put like a, a red dot or a sticker right here or something. And I just have expand and I have grow. So I have like this leaf growing. That's basically what my dream is. My dream is to expand everything that I've been doing and just get bigger so yeah, for me, the past four years has been all about school. Although I have did some amazing things with my YouTube channel and I've collaborated with companies and worked with companies, I have not been able to focus on my brand. And I feel like once I'm able to focus on my brand, like nobody can stop me. Like I'm so driven, but school has just been my number one thing. And I cannot wait to graduate so my brand can be my number one thing. So I'm really excited about that. So we have to bring this to class. I guess I'll put this one on the top because I want to add a little bit more. But I have that. Oh, this one goes with that. This ended up being uh five and a half six page paper ultimately eight pages with the cover page and stuff so yeah i'm just super excited i'm gonna put all of this in my book bag because 
I need to check off the list that is done. And then the last thing I have to do today is do my last online assignment that's due at midnight. And then I do have a business call um, with um, my publishing company because we're doing some marketing and advertising for my book and we're just planning some stuff because you know that colleges are going to start accepting in January February so we definitely want to push to the high school girls so I have a business call with that I have not ate yet it's 125 so I'll probably get something to eat after my 250 class well my two o'clock class I get out at like 250 and then I'll probably eat um my day has been hectic so I probably won't do my makeup I'm probably I'm just like yeah today I'll try again tomorrow so I'll probably uh change my pants because I want to wear these pants tomorrow I want to like look cute in this tomorrow so I, I guess I need to change my outfit and put on sneakers so I'll probably wear these sneakers because I'm ripping and running Christmas is coming up mm -hmm. we're gonna have to launch this campaign and then work backwards to do some of the um analytics and try to obtain some of the information that we would have done for report Okay. But I want us to get this campaign out and rolling first, so then we'll just have to backtrack a little bit, which, which is okay. We would want this to start Monday Okay. at the latest. I mean, well, we don't have a choice. It has to start Monday. Monday. Okay. Bye-bye. Um, Bye-bye. Okay, business call complete. I need to go get some more printing paper because I ran out of printing paper. I'm like, seriously? Right now. Right now. It's um my seatbelt on 140. Got 20 minutes to go get pen and paper. Pen, 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 pen. Print and paper, print out my stuff, go to class. Um I thought that I may have the time to go get some Popeyes. That don't seem like that's gonna happen right now. I'm gonna have to wait to have the class, like I said. So guys, on my little hour break in between classes, I'm going to watch some Netflix. It's this show called 3%. Yeah, it's called 3%. It's a Netflix original. It just came on. So, um, yeah, I'm watching that. And I'm eating my Popeyes. It's 3 o'clock, 3.30. And I'm just now eating. I know, so horrible. But, yeah, I like weird stuff like this. 3%. It's about something weird. <laughs> weird stuff. I like it. When your roommate and her boyfriend cook dinner. So, you got some. Ooh, ooh, ooh. In bed, I think I'm about to watch some Netflix with my little suckies on. Yeah, this is great. And then when you hear your phone beeping, it's not by your bed, so you don't know where the phone's at. Great. <laughs> We basically listen to this song all day, every day. It's mental therapy to your brain. Thought a new dress to make it better. I don't care. Dang it out. Like, it's not even that serious. This totes great.